Hi guys, do you have an MTH-1030 final in 2 weeks, in 2 days, maybe in 24 hours? This video is made specifically for you. In order to ace MTH-1030, you need to know the following 300 plus topics. Well, that's a lot of topics. But if studied efficiently, even less than 24 hours study could dramatically improve your results. I'm going to focus on the top 10 most common topics that appear on Baruch MTH-1030 finals. Everybody procrastinates. It's absolutely normal. That's why we prepared a special last minute cram course that will prepare you for your MTH 1030 final within a super short period of time. You can access our last minute cram course by clicking the link in the video description below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. So let's do this. The first topic is exponents and polynomials. It's gonna come from MTH 1030 final FA 16 problem 10. Here we have a to the power of x minus one equal four to the power of two x minus three. In these problems, the key is to figure out what is that specific common base. It seems like eight is the power of two. It seems like four is the power of two. So let's just express everything in, in, in terms of power of two. So two to the power of three to the power of x minus 1 equals 2 squared to the power of 2x minus 3. Now, what I do know is that I know that powers multiply. The base is already the same. So all I have to do is multiply 3 and x minus 1, which is 3x minus 3. And here, I need to multiply 2 and 2x minus 3, which is 4x minus 6. Now, let me move x's to one side and constants to one side. Once I do all the operations, x will be equal to 3. And the answer is d. Right? So again, the trick here is to identify the common, common base. <laughs> the common, common base, right? The same base that could appear on both sides. Next topic, circle. Very, very popular. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, appearing, you know, sometimes even multiple times on one test. So we're going to look at MTH 1030 final FA 16 problem 2. Here we need to determine the center and the radius of the circle. This is the circle. How to do this? Uh, first of all, let's leave a blank space, x squared minus 6x plus blank, plus y squared minus y plus blank equals 2. So here, uh, in the blank, I will put a negative 6 over 2 squared. I'm just putting this number. And here, I'm putting the number uh, by the negative y. What is that number? It's not negative y, it's negative 1 times y. So it's negative 1 over 2 squared but i cannot add those two numbers just to the left side i also have to add these numbers to the right side so it's negative six over two squared plus negative one over two squared all right so i have x squared minus six x plus nine plus y squared minus y plus one fourth equals two plus nine plus one fourth so this one will turn into x minus three squared this one will turn into y minus 1 half squared. And I'll be left with 11 and 1 fourth. So here, we know that the center is equal to 3 and 1 half. How did I get that? I simply negated the negative 3 and the negative 1 half. So it's 3 and 1 half. So we can eliminate E, we can eliminate D, we can eliminate A. It's either B or C. Now, the million dollar question, what is the radius? So we know that radius squared is equal to 11 and 1 fourth which is the same thing as, as 45 over 4. If I take the square root, I get square root of 45, square root of 4. So it's 2 on the bottom, and here it's 3 root 5. So my radius is 3 root 5 over 2, and the answer is C. Next. Next topic is rationalizing. Uh, it's taken from, uh, the problem is, is taken from final FA16 problem 3. So here we need to rationalize the denominator obviously. How to rationalize denominators? Always multiply by the conjugate. What the hell is a conjugate? a plus b, the conjugate of that is a minus b. a minus b, the conjugate of that is a plus b. Very simple. So if you have 3, root 3 minus 1, the conjugate is going to be square root of 3 plus 1, square root of 3 plus 1. So the top is, I'll just foil the top, it's 3 plus root 3 plus 3 root 3 plus 3 over and the bottom is going to be difference of squares. So it's going to be root 3 squared minus 1 squared. So the top is 6 plus 4 root 3. The bottom is 3 minus 1. So let me just move it here. So 6 plus 4 root 3, the bottom is 2. And if I just cancel, uh, divide the top by, by 2, both sides, it's going to be 3 plus 2 root 3. It is C. 
So again, conjugate is conjugate for like you need to know these rules. Conjugate for a plus b is a minus b. Conjugate for a minus b is a plus b. Next, next topic: complex numbers. Uh, we're gonna consider problem four from final F A sixteen. So here we need to pretty much to do the same exact thing as we just done in the previous problem. We need to rationalize the the, the bottom. So fifteen min, uh, twelve minus five i over two plus three i. What is the conjugate for the bottom? It is two minus three i, two minus three i. If I foil the top, I gotta get twenty four minus thirty six i minus ten i plus 15i squared. My bottom is going to be equal to 2 squared minus 3i squared. The difference of squares. For the top, I have 24 minus 46i minus 15 because 15i squared turns into negative 15 over 4 plus, uh, well, let's just do this in steps, 4 minus uh, 9i squared. So, it's 9 minus 46i on top. The bottom is 4 plus 9. So the top again is 9 minus 46i. The bottom is 13. It's clearly visible that the answer is E. Again, conjugates. Conjugates is very, very popular. Uh, now, topic 5, domain and range. We're going to look at problem 1 from the final FA16. Here we need to look at the domain. For the domain, take the bottom immediately, set it to 0. That's it x squared minus 4x equals 0. Let's factor this out. So x times x minus 4 equals 0. Therefore, x equals 0 or x equals 4. So these two must be eliminated. So if you have this whole number line, it's going to be everything from 0 and everything besides 4. So it's between negative infinity and 4 here, between 0 and 4 here, and between 4 and positive infinity. It's A. Next. Topic 6, completing the square, FA16 problem 12. What is completing the square? You have x squared plus 8x. Leave the space here, equals 7. What is the space? 8 over 2 squared. And we'll go to both sides, 8 wow. over 2 squared. Wow. So here we got x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 7 plus 16. So 23 on the right. Here it's x plus 4 squared. Now, do not forget, when you take the square roots of both sides, it's plus or minus. x plus 4 equals plus or minus square root of 23. So x equals negative 4 plus or minus square, square, root of three, uh, square root of 23. So it is E. Okay, we're almost done. Almost done with the 10 topics. Topic 7, radical equations. We're going to look at problem 5 from the final FA18. We got root x equals 6 minus x. You have to square both sides immediately. So you get x equal 36 minus 12x plus x squared. Move everything to one side. x squared minus 12x plus 36 minus x equals 0. So if I just keep writing x squared minus 13x plus 36 equals 0. Now let me factor this out. x minus 9, x minus 4 equals 0. And I got x equal 9 or x equal 4. You must double check both answers so let's do for, for nine right for nine here so uh, square root of nine equals six minus nine three equals negative three so nine does not work we must reject it for four let's double check that so square root of four equals six minus four so two is equal to two that works so our only answer is cx equal four next topic eight rational exponents problem 11 from the final fa16 <coughs> this one looks very complex but it only looks very complex if you look at this from the gestalt standpoint, as I call it. Try to split this into steps. Let's just look at the inside first. We got 8xy to the 5 over 2x to the 5y to the 3. So if we try to look at these guys first, 8 over 2 is just 4. 4. Okay, good. If you look at x's, let me actually change the color so you guys can see. So let's say purple, right? Oh, yeah. So purple. So we're looking at x. x over x to the fifth. So it's going to be x to the fourth on the bottom. And last color change for now. Let's do red. All right, so y to the fifth, y to the third. So y squared. So what we have is we have 4 y squared x to the fourth to the power of negative one half. Still looks complicated. Here's the thing. Deal with the minus first. How? Flip it. 
x to the fourth over 4y squared to the power of 1 half. With this trick, everything simple. Now, what is 1 half? It's a square root. So square root of x to the fourth over 4y squared. So simple. Now, if you just expand the square root individually, it's going to be x squared on top, on the bottom is 2y. This one looked impossible. The one here, very, very simple. It says x squared over 2y, d. All this, all this, all this, cannot stress this enough, always look at the steps, split into steps. Topic 9, logarithmic equations, problem 18 from FA18 final. All right, so we look at the logs. Logs have the same exact base. So we can, we can combine them. So it's x plus 2 times x plus 4 immediately equals to 3. So if I FOIL it, I get to have x squared plus 6x x plus 8 equals 3, which is the same thing as x squared plus 6x x plus 5 equals 0. If I, if I uh, factor this, it's x plus 1 times x plus 5 equals 0. So x equals negative 1 or x equals negative 5. All right? Now, it's not over yet. It might be C based on the existing solution. But we need to plug in, since it's logarithms, we have to plug in both x equal negative 1, x equal negative 5 into the original. So for the negative 1 first, log of negative 1 plus 2 plus log of negative 1 plus 4. This equals log of 1 plus log of 3. So far, so good. Chance size is the right answer. What about negative 5? log of negative 5 plus 2 plus log of negative 5 plus 4. Now let me simplify it. So it's log of negative 3. Here it's plus log of negative 1. All right? Cannot exist. Because stuff inside the logarithms has to be clearly greater than 0. Clearly greater than 0. So we must reject negative 5. We only stay with x equal negative 1. The answer is A. Last but not least, inverse functions, problem 23 from final FA16. All right, so we got g of x equal 2x minus 2 over x plus 6. We need to find the inverse at 4. So what I would do immediately, I would say y equals 2x minus 2 over x plus 6, and I would flip it, x and y's. x equal 2y minus 2 over y plus 6. This is x over 1. Let me multiply, do the butterfly method, so x times y plus 6 equals 2y minus 2, xy plus 6x equals 2y minus 2. So I'll move to y's to one side. So xy minus 2y equals minus 6x minus 2. So y times x minus 2 equals minus 6x minus 2. And therefore y equals negative 6x minus 2 over x minus 2. That's my new y. And all I have to do is plug in 4. So if I plug in 4, I get negative 6 times 4 minus 2 over uh, 4 minus 2, which is negative 24 minus 2 over 2, which is negative 26 over 2, which is negative 13. Thank you so much for watching. We covered the top 10 most common topics that appear on Baruch MTH 1030 finals. Again, everybody procrastinates. It's absolutely normal. That's why we prepared a special last minute cram course that will prepare you for your MTH 1030 final within a super short period of time. You can access our last minute cram course by clicking the link in the video description below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Bye-bye.